What's up guys, uh, Justin Eagle here and I'm back with a uh, new skate park adventure. Dude, that is so low energy. Do you, do you mind bringing it up a few notches? You know, so they can hear you? Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. That's, that's probably a good idea. Okay, well, uh, I'm waiting. Hey, what's up guys? Justin Eagle here and and I'm at the new skate park and it's skate park adventures and yeah Dude, come on man. Is that the best you got? You don't have any more energy to to ant that up I mean those ants walking across my feet right now could probably speak louder than that like like bring it up Okay, fine jeez My goodness What's up guys, Justin Eagle here, and I'm back, I'm here, I made it, I'm at a new skate park, and I'm so excited. I just can't believe where I'm at right now. This is an amazing looking skate park, but it's so interesting to me. Now the first thing I can say about this skate park is it has a lot of transition. There's a lot of variety here, and I'm getting ready to show it all to you. And if you're new to my channel, I would definitely appreciate a new sub. Um, it always helps to grow my market. But what this is, this is Skate Park Adventures. And basically, I go around to different states and go to the new skate parks. And I basically just review them. I give them a grade on a grading scale. And uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. Like, this skate park is actually pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually surrounded by, like, a park facility. So there's, like you know baseball fields there is a volleyball net volleyball nets there's basketball courts there's like a playground over there the community put a lot of money in this park and it definitely shows um, so the people of this community are definitely lucky to have this now getting to the skate park there is so much variety here there's like a pyramid concrete thing in the middle and there's like a bowl over that way and then there's a step up and there's a quarter pipe that goes from one transition to another it is pretty cool. Uh, the way they designed this park, they definitely did a good job. Um, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there's kind of a lot of ledges here, or hubbas, whatever you call them. You have one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. I don't know, that seems like a little bit a lot for <laughs> a little bit more than usual for a concrete skate park. You have eight ledges here, eight hubbas. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I didn't think there was that many here. I was like, maybe they were just like, oh, well, uh, whenever we were building this thing, we just kind of had more concrete, so we just started laying more ledges or hubbas down. And maybe that's where it came from. Probably not. Most likely it was pre-designed in the original plans for this skate park. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful bowl. This bowl is so beautiful. You know why? Because it's not too big and it's not too small. So if you're a decent skater, you can actually shred this. It goes from one portion to another, from smaller to big. Very well organized, A plus on the bowl in my opinion. Um, because this, I can actually drop in and I can actually skate it. I can't tell you how many skate parks I've been to where the pool has coping that has oververt, like an actual pool. Like, I couldn't believe it. But this park's pool is excellent. It's well made, designed perfectly, and uh, A plus, A plus on the bowl. Now, like I was saying before, there's a lot of variety here. We have all the hubbas, we have a stair set over there, uh, we have the box in the middle there and then we also have a step up with a rail there's a little mani pad lots of variety I'm super excited to skate this and uh, it just looks super cool the one thing I can say that uh, I guess is a little bit of a drawback is um, the concrete is kind of very like coarse like if you wreck on this you're probably gonna end up with some road rash um, I don't know what it is about it it's just so dry that I was skating earlier and I fell because I hit the transition too hard and I kind of fell forward and I don't know it was like it just grabbed my skin. <laughs>
Yeah, another small drawback about this park is the transitions aren't very seamless. So when you're going down a slope and you're getting ready to hit the box, you know it. There's a bit of a jolt impact, like right when you hit the box or hit anything uh, that's a transition in this park. Now, of course, the uh, quarter pipes are built right. Uh, there's no real jolt with that, but just going down the slopes and hitting that middle box is as soon as you hit it, it's almost like boom, boom. You got to get over like this little hur hurdle per se. Now, the only other small thing is this park appears to be a little bit dated, uh, but that's okay because it's built right. Like they built this thing well back when they designed it. I can't tell you how many crappy skate parks I've been to where it's old, cold, covered in mold, and it wasn't built right, and it was just a complete waste of time and a complete trash heap. But this is not. This is not that. This is so much better. You have eight ledges, you have a box, you have quarter pipes, you have a rail over there, there's a mani pad, a bowl, you name it, they got it. Beachmont is awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much my summarization of this park. Now, I'm about to do a bit of skating. I'm about to just drop an edit for you guys and just show you some awesome skateboarding tricks. And uh, I hope you enjoy this show. If you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. Uh, I have lots of great content. I do skateboarding competitions called Skate Fights. And I also do skate park adventures. I do vlogs. I do uh, all kinds of creative stuff. So if you want to subscribe, I'd definitely appreciate it. If you enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you think this video is so awesome, drop me a comment at the bottom. And uh, yeah, enjoy uh, the show. Wow, the skate park is so much fun. I hope you're enjoying this awesome session. Um, another thing I kind of noticed over here was this little uh, kind of like brick transition. It's like super cool. It's like not a part of the skate park, but technically it is. So yeah, looks cool.
What is up guys, Justin Eagle here. I hope you enjoyed that edit. I certainly had a lot of fun skating here today. It's always good to go to new parks and this one was definitely one to hit on the checklist. Overall, I would say that I liked it. It was really good and um, you know, it, it did have its drawbacks here and there, but for the most part it was really well designed. Everything is uh, somewhat proportional and they have so much variety here at the Beachmont Skate Park. It's a great one if you've never been um, and you're in the area, definitely come check it out. Now, as far as an official grading scale for the Beachmont Skate Park, um, I kind of looked at it and reviewed everything and kind of put together a figure I thought was uh, appropriate for this park. And I'm going to go give it a 6.5 out of 10. Now, some of you might be like, Justin, 6.5? Like, isn't that like kind of like just a little bit above average? Uh, kinda, but not really. 6.5 is a good uh, rating on a scale of 10. You know, 10 you have to be like skate heaven, you know. So a 6.5 is actually pretty good. And I would probably only have given this park a 6 out of 10. But the fact that it's surrounded by such a nice facility and there are so many options other than skateboarding here, um, you know, there's other sports and activities and playgrounds for kids. It's just a great uh, atmosphere. And I think it's a great community. Yeah, and I think that they have like a wonderful community here. I didn't, um, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of people here because I came kind of early, but everybody just seems to be pretty active and uh, somewhat friendly and just uh, all around good people. And that's always what makes a skate park great is the atmosphere and the people. Um, you know, some skate parks with crappy atmospheres just get ruined. You know, people come in with graffiti and they don't respect the park and foul language and just all kinds of nonsense. But like, when you just have a good community with people who are actually there to skate and not just wander and just loiter, it's, it makes it so... Yeah, I wasn't really able to get a whole lot of action shots today, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll be back at some point. And uh, in skateboarding, I think it's important to stay safe, but also try to pro progress your skills. Um, and if you can do both, that's always the best option. Uh, there's always so many skaters getting hurt, tearing a, uh, a ligament or uh, spraining an ankle or something like that. That puts them out for months and weeks and whatever. And that's just terrible. And I try to avoid that at all costs. And uh, yeah, so. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Like I always say, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. If you thought this video was awesome, make sure you leave it a like. And if you're more awesome, drop me a comment at the bottom. Tell me what you think. If you've been to the skate park before, tell me what you like, what you didn't like. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great night.